When we look into the expansive, outstanding, and inspiring cosmos, there are billions of billion stars out there. You know one of them that dominated our sky and every single life that was, is, and will be on the home planet Earth. It's been billions of years since it is burning nonstop at the center of the solar system, the sun. This star has been investigated for years, and now with advanced technology that we have in space and on the ground, we can dive deep into it to reveal the true nature of this star. Let's journey through this phenomenal creature in space, which I'm sure has breathtaking facts to learn. This is Amin, and you are watching Be Smarter Daily, and in this video, we are going to step into the deep sun and study this star by employing different wavelengths, not just visible light. As you know, we are studying our universe using various wavelengths. Jupiter has shown its various aspects by employing this technique. We can see how Jupiter can be different using different wavelengths. But this time, let's look at the sun with different wavelengths. The sun is 93 million miles away, so sunlight takes eight minutes and 20 seconds to get to us. Not much changes about the sun in so short a time, but it still means that when you look at the sun, you see it as it was eight minutes ago. So somehow you are looking at past, but this is not the whole story of reaching light to us. Actually, this light has been produced 100,000 years ago in the core of the sun and traveled to the surface to burst out. To get familiar with sun, let's start with the outermost layer. It's the corona layer. Our sun is surrounded by a jacket of gases called the corona layer. The corona is the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. The corona is usually hidden by the bright light of the sun's surface. That makes it difficult to see without using special instruments. For the first time in history, this mysterious layer was studied by Parker Solar Probe closely, and this cutting-edge device dived into this layer. This is an animation showing an orbit of Parker Solar Probe in relation to data from NASA's stereo mission, with the sun shown to scale in the center of the image. Stereo is the same distance away from the sun as the Earth at 214 solar radii, or 93 million miles from the sun. At closest approach, Parker Solar Probe will fly to 11 solar radii, which is about 4 million miles from the sun. In this epic footage, you can see the Parker Solar Probe pass through the corona. The spacecraft flew by structures called coronal streamers. These structures can be seen as bright features moving upward in the video. Such a view is only possible because the spacecraft flew above and below the streamers inside the corona. Until now, streamers have only been seen from afar, and they are visible from Earth during total solar eclipses. The corona is about 10 million times less dense than the sun's surface. This low density makes the corona much less bright than the surface of the sun. The corona's high temperatures are a bit of a mystery. Imagine that you're sitting next to a campfire. It's nice and warm. But when you walk away from the fire, you feel cooler. This is the opposite of what seems to happen on the sun. Astronomers have been trying to solve this mystery for a long time. The corona is in the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere, far from its surface. Yet the corona is hundreds of times hotter than the sun's surface. As the outermost layer of the sun, the corona starts at about 1-300 miles above the solar surface, the photosphere. The temperature in the corona is 900,000 degrees Fahrenheit or more, up to a few million Fahrenheit. The second layer of the sun is the transition region, where the predominantly neutral gas character of the chromosphere changes over to the fully ionized plasma of the corona. The transition region is a very narrow 60 miles layer between the chromosphere and the corona, where the temperature rises abruptly from about 14,000 to 900,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This movie shows NASA's iris of the same area of the sun in different wavelengths. Each image carries information about how fast the solar material is moving, which has shown scientists that a series of loops are twisting in the sun's lower atmosphere. The third layer of the sun is the chromosphere. This layer in the sun is between about 250 miles to 1,300 miles above the solar surface, the photosphere. The temperature in the chromosphere varies between about 6,700 Fahrenheit at the bottom, the so-called temperature minimum, and 14,000 Fahrenheit at the top. So in this layer, and higher layers, it actually gets hotter if you go further away from the sun, unlike in the lower layers, where it gets hotter if you go closer to the center of the sun. If you dive deeper in the sun, you reach the photosphere. The photosphere is the deepest layer of the sun that we can observe directly. It reaches from the surface visible at the center of the solar disk to about 250 miles above that. The temperature in the photosphere varies between about 11,000 Fahrenheit at the bottom and 6,700 Fahrenheit at the top. Most of the photosphere is covered by granulation. Granules are small, about 800 miles across, 
cellular features that cover the entire sun, except for those areas covered by sunspots. These features are the tops of convection cells, where hot fluid rises up from the interior in the bright areas, spreads out across the surface, cools, and then sinks inward along the dark lanes. Individual granules last for only about 20 minutes. The flow within the granules can reach supersonic speeds of more than 15,000 miles per hour and produce sonic booms and other noise that generate waves on the sun's surface. After these four layers that are detectable with different instruments via different wavelengths, we have three layers of convection zone, radiative zone, and sun's core with advancing deeper and deeper. The core, the central region where nuclear reactions consume hydrogen to form helium. These reactions release the energy that ultimately leaves the surface as visible light. The temperatures are believed to be reaching more than 27 million Fahrenheit. The core is considered to be the hottest region of the sun. The radiative zone extends outward from the outer edge of the core to the base of the convection zone, characterized by the method of energy transport radiation. The temperature can reach to over 7 million Fahrenheit, and the energy in this layer transports outside in the form of electromagnetic radiation by photons. And finally, the convection zone, the outermost layer of the solar interior extending from a depth of about 200,000 kilometers to the visible surface where its motion is seen as granules and supergranules. The temperature at its base is about 3.6 million Fahrenheit. These were some short facts about the closest star to us, which almost you can say that we do not know much about it. Hope you enjoy this video and make you to push to learn more about space. Please support us by sharing these outstanding pieces of knowledge and let me know what do think about these facts.